One day I said to Hester, It's hopeless, you know, this life of yours at the pension. It spoils everything. She looked at me thoughtfully. I wish, she said, I wish that we could be married. Oh, darling. I stared at her in amazement. You can't mean that. Why, marriage is terrible. You know how often we used to talk about it. Yes, she said, but somehow it doesn't seem so bad now. We can't, I went on. We wouldn't love each other half so much. Being with you wouldn't be a thrill any more. You'd just be my wife. We should take each other for granted. I don't see that it would matter, she said. Darling, you don't really want to be married. You haven't thought what it would be like. Seriously now, have you? Yes, she said. No, Hester, you can't have. Why, at once life is stale, ordinary, going on the same day after day. Surely you haven't suddenly got moral scruples, have you? Oh, Dick, that's horrid of you. Sweetheart, I'm not being horrid. But marriage... You'd feel tied, and so would I. The very respectability of it would finish things for me. It's perfect as we are, never being quite sure. Sure of what? Sure of life, love, you, I don't know. Listen, do you really want to get married? Not if you don't want to. Don't you see it would be awful? Perhaps. You do see. I expect you're right, Dick. Besides, there's no need. We don't have to worry over other people. You're independent, and so am I. That guardian doesn't mean a thing, does he? No. It's not as if you were poor. No? What made you think of it? Just an idea. We won't say anything about it again, Dick. Darling, it's wonderful in a way, just to think you thought of it. I mean, as if you cared about me a bit. But it would be awful, wouldn't it? Yes. The thing is, you must leave the pension and come and live with me here. There wouldn't be room. Sure, I'll get the room next door. It's empty. I asked about it the other day. It'll be all right. It doesn't matter what you do here, anyway. Tell you what. We'll sleep in one room and use this as a sitting room. What about my piano? she said. Oh, Lord, listen, have you got to go on with your music after this term? I can't give it up, Dick. Couldn't you give it up for a bit? I don't want to. Perhaps I could go and practice somewhere. There must be places. We might buy a piano if it comes to that, I said. No, it would disturb your writing. Well, I don't know. What can we do? It's up to you, darling. I want you to come and live with me more than anything in the world. But if there's going to be a scene about your music... I shrugged my shoulders. I might give it up for a little while. Honestly, darling, I don't see that it would do you any harm, I said. It will be so hot, too, later on, won't it? Terribly hot. And anyway, term ends in a few weeks. Perhaps, if I don't practice through the summer, the rest might help my fingers. I'm sure it would, sweetheart. I'd like to have worked up for the concert next term, though. The professor is giving a concert, Dick. It's very important. Famous people go, and he only picks out his best pupils to play. It sounds conceited, but... He said something about me. Well, you can always see, can't you, later, I said, rather bored. Yes, I suppose so. And you'll leave the blasted pension and come here, won't you? Yes, Dick. Well, have the most perfectly marvellous time, darling. It won't seem true at first, when you don't go back at nights. It will be nice. You can do whatever you like all the time. We might go away a bit in August. We might go to Fontainebleau and stay. Could we go to the sea, she said. Oh, 
No, not the sea. I hate the sea. The mountains. Mountains are bloody... <sighs> no, darling. We'll go somewhere. Never mind now. I'm going to look after you, Dick. Sweetheart, I don't need looking after. Yes, you do. Darling, you need looking after more than anyone, and I've wanted to for so long, Dick. I'm going to do so much for you. Are you? I said. Yes, as if I were years older than you and you were dependent on me. I shall love it. All day. Getting sausages for you. Anything. <sighs> Sweetheart. Running out and buying you Gruyere cheese. Mending things. I can't mend at all. You don't mind, do you? No. When I think about it, I have a pain here, in my heart. As though I can't breathe because it's too much. Too much. Oh, Hester, beloved. Dick, I do wish I could have a baby. A baby? Good Lord, whatever for? I don't know. Sometimes I think I'll die unless I have a baby. Oh, Hester, darling, you're crazy. I can't imagine anything more of a cope. Think of it, screaming about the place. Yes. Gosh, you make me laugh more than anyone. You and a baby. What a mad idea. It's the funniest thing I've ever heard. It's a joke, isn't it? Yes, it's a joke. She turned away. I guessed you couldn't be serious. Listen, when are you going to leave the pension? Soon, very soon. I'll try. This week? No. Next week? Perhaps. I can't wait to have you here, Hester. It won't be long. You'll get fed up with me, sweet. Why? I shan't ever leave you alone. I don't mind. You're not going yet, are you? What's the time? We've nearly an hour, beloved. Shall we go to the dome? No, Hester. We can't go on staying here. Yes, darling. Darling, come here. You're going to stay. I want you to stay. She came and lay down beside me, and put her arms round me, and we were together. And I said later, This is our thing, isn't it? Yes, she said. Nobody else ever. No, never. We'll always go on being happy. Yes, always.